Right, good evening YouTube. I uh, hope you're all well. I'm going to do a bit more on advice tonight. Um, but first, I want to just address this issue, investigate this issue of the, the lathe which I thought was turning a taper. turns out to be turning a step. Now I'm hoping that it's the gap has been removed at some time and not been put back correctly. Um, so I put a bit of stout bar in there and I, I cleaned there's some swarf on there from the cut that I just took I cleaned the ways down completely um, floated everything on fresh oil um, and took a little cut let's just have another wipe down there there's swarf on there from me cutting just now now what I'm kind of interested in, let's get the light right, as you can see, is if I'm going to bring my tool in there, the point where the carriage runs up to the onto the gap there, you can see this is an old well worn lathe. So there is going to correspond with a with a step in this bar. If it does, we're laughing, so I'm going to get my. Well, we're not laughing. If it does, it might be a simple fix. So I'm going to get my mics out and just have a little look at that. Okay, I've got my micrometer. Uh, let's see what we have here. I think we are looking at a problem with the gap because here. Uh, let's use it like a go no go gauge. Set it on there loosely. Okay, it goes. Come on. Right, it goes there. It goes there. It goes there. Right, and that's where the tool is now. It don't go there. This is not a taper, it's a step. Um, I think that's happened since the gap has been out, and it's quite a big step. It's, uh, if we say here is 475, 84, 79 and a half, and the other side of the step. Nearly 481. So almost a thou and a half jump. Um, where the saddle climbs onto the gap, we need to do something about that. I don't like using it like that. It could be uh, wearing something out. Now, the strange thing is, oh, it's all blown out there. Come back. The strange thing is, yeah, maybe I can feel it there. Maybe all that's happened is the gap. It could be it could be lifted this side on a piece of swarf, or it could be. I was pretty clean when I could have. It could be it just settled down in the wrong place. What we're going to do is loosen it until it's snug but not tight. Slide the saddle all the way over it, and just lightly bump it and snug it up again, um, and see if that cures it. Right, I've loosened off the four bolts securing the gap. This Colchester lathe, there's two there that you can see. And two uh, in the end there. You can see there where my ratchet is sticking in there. And they're just loosened to a snug bit. And now I've backed out my tool. I'm going to roll the saddle as far as it'll go with the chuck on. That's completely covering the gap. And Give a little, a little gentle bumping all round with a rubber hammer. I think what I'm going to do is continue that as I as I tighten. Sorry, you can't see it very well. Now. Just just gently snugging all the bolts. Get my hand in there. Gently snugging all the bolts uh, as I go around tapping 
and then we'll take another cut and we'll see what happens. Um, it's got two chances, I may have to take it all out, stone all the surfaces, clean it spotlessly and do it again, but I think I'm going to try this first. Slightly better way to proceed is to just keep snugging. Locate the tool post over the top of the way there. Just knock down with a rubber hammer as I tighten. And I'm really hoping. Just give the other, so just have to clear the, clear the saddle out of the way and give the other two screws a turn. Hey, I think. No, I'm not sure. I might be trying. I might be convincing myself. Let's give this one a, a turn. And okay, last one. Be silly tight, no big bolts, man. Oh, they'd be crazy tight. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah, maybe we're looking slightly, feeling slightly better there. We'll see. Uh, key stuck in there. Right, let's. Take a cut and see. Ah, reverse my feed direction. Four seventy four. Yeah, it's better. It'll be perfect, but it's better. Four seventy three and eight tenths. I'm not going to complain about that. I am pretty happy with that result. Uh, there you go. Something always worth considering if you've got a problem with the gap. I'm sure that's the way you should do it. I was I was scrupulously clean when I put it back. And I didn't I didn't have the bed right over it and, and doink it down as I snugged up those bolts. Um, uh, it, 
didn't go back in exactly square. Anyway, lesson for us all there.